We continue now with new information and a local victim from that container ship that disappeared during Hurricane Joaquin. Well, today we learned that the Alfaro lost propulsion and was left disabled right in the path of the storm. The ship was headed from Jacksonville to San Juan when it disappeared near the Bahamas. Only bits and pieces of that ship have been found. Among the 33 lost at sea, a Virginia Beach man. Penny your side's Andy Fox is here with more. Andy. Tom and Nicole, the first thing you need to know, the family of Chief Engineer Richard Puzzateri remains positive that Richard will be found alive. We all hope that. Richard is a ship's officer, a 2003 alumnus of SUNY Maritime College, and he moved to Virginia Beach in 2007. The family offered this statement about Richard. He is a proud husband, father, son, and friend. The family has a strong support group and is thankful for the continued prayers of comfort and hope. If you know Rich, then you know there is hope. We are not giving up. Cargo ship SS El Faro left port last Tuesday, moving towards what was then Tropical Storm Joaquin. Chief Engineer Richard Puzzateri and 32 others on board. Thursday morning, communication lost in what had grown to Hurricane Joaquin. One of the last messages the ship sent, lost propulsion, taking on water, flooding, contained. John Cooper served on the El Faro in maintenance. It's, it's pitiful, it's hurtful, and it's bothering me right now. And sometimes it makes me very upset and gets me very emotional because that was my last ship before I retired. Cooper says he got a call from his union headquarters last Thursday, letting him know there were issues in the engine room, which he says have been ongoing concerns. If they was having trouble keeping the generator or keeping the boiler lit, in order for the ship to turn the propeller, something was going on in the engine room. He is disappointed even when Joaquin was a tropical storm, decisions were made to head towards possible danger. When the crew has their concern and the, the captain and the company is saying, we need to do what we need to do to get this ship to the destination that it is because of the cargo. A lost crew member's mother supports the captain's decision to set sail. Hey, we're going into a tropical storm or hey, the winds and the seas are really rough. Hey mom, we're going to go for another fun ride. They have to do it or nothing would ever get delivered. Everything that I've been hearing down in Jacksonville, Florida, when my, when my friends have died, why did the ship leave the dock? Whether it was a category four or whether it was a small hurricane, why did the ship leave the dock? Now the ship is presumed lost. One crew member found dead in a flotation suit. They found a life ring and a damaged lifeboat. Now John Cooper's concerns about the engine room involve five international workers who were on board to prepare the engine room for a retrofitting. Could that work have caused the loss of power that led to the U.S. container ship sinking? That will certainly be part of the NTSB investigation. Go to wavy.com to see how you can help Richard's family by going to their GoFundMe account. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.